hello friends today i am going to solve again another accenture problem in this problem you can see we have given one function like name is that product of some function and this function is taking two argument alike one argument is area another one is the size of area and we have to return right uh, some of uh, products so they have mentioned something like let's discuss what they have mentioned they said that the function accept a positive integer area right of length n and its argument the area can be divided into two part it means they said that area can be we can divide this area into two parts right? right so uh, this what say that next is that first part of array starting from 0 to i is in ascending order right and second part of array is in descending order right you can see that this is area and we can divide this area into two parts like first part you can see that in ascending order another part is in descending order you can see the 3 8 14 is ascending order and after 14 they have descending order right 14 12 10 7 4 so next what they said that uh, implement the function to find the sum of first part right and uh, sum of second part and return the product of sum of first and second part and uh, they said that right uh, this is suppose our area and they said that we have to find product of this two sum of uh, these two part right suppose the first part is 3 8 14 it is in ascending order another part is 14 12 10 7 4 is in descending order so we have to find uh, first we have to find sum of these two right these two uh, part of this array and then we have to uh, return multiply of these two right so you can say that in explanation they also mentioned that sum of first part right in ascending order they can say 3 8 4 uh, and 14 you can say 3 8 14 in ascending order so we have to find sum of these three so it will be 25 again we will find sum of this uh rest of all that is in ascend descending orders you can see that 14 12 10 right here they mentioned also 14 12 10 7 4 is uh, is in descending order so we have to find sum of uh, this also so it is 47 and we have to return multiply of these two right 25 plus 14 into 47 is equals 1175 so this function will return this right so let's solve how can we solve this problem let's discuss so you can see that suppose this is our area right for solving this problem we will use two loop like we will use first loop until we will get uh, data in ascending order right and then after we will break that loop and we will start a another loop and that loop will add sum of right all descending order element right for solving this problem suppose we have created two variable like sum one and sum two so what we will do suppose we will start from checking here right first element we will check this two is a smaller right first element is a smaller than second element it means that this is in ascending order we will take this three and put in sum one right and again we will go again we will check this eight is a smaller than 14 right yeah it's true we will take eight and we will put in this sum one right so we will calculate addition of this all th eight three and next so we will check this 40 and 12 right so here we find that 14 is not a smaller than 12 it means that here we have a start our uh, another part of this area which is in descending order so what we will do we will put this 40 in uh, sum one again right and we will make uh, another uh, start we will start another loop from this 14 right so we need index of this one so we will take after getting this one right whenever we will get uh, this area of element or uh, is uh, right not less than next element so we will put that j equals right index uh, uh, in j equals i and we will uh, start another loop from that j and we will uh, run loop from this j to last and we will calculate sum of this two and we will put the sum of this two into into this sum two variable right so suppose sum two will be right 14 plus 12 plus 10 right plus 7 plus 4 so we will get sum of all these number right and then after what we will do after ending that loop right we will return multiply of this sum 1 and sum 2 so let's start so you can see that we have right this code so we have given one function product of some function they have two argument right area and num and we have to return multiply of that both two part right sum of both two parts so first uh, the method is going to return integer value so let's return anything so that we will not get error here right and you can see that this is our array so first we will traverse array from until we will get descending order right so we need two variable like for i is equals j sorry g zero j equals zero and we need two variable like sum one and sum two we will put uh, sum two is equals zero also right and uh, here we are sure about that uh, each and every element in this array in sequential manner right suppose in ascending order and descending order because in question they also said that that uh, first a uh, part of that array will be ascending order another part of array will be descending order that's why we don't need to be worry about it so here we will start loop 4 we have put value of i so we will read i is less than 
array dot length suppose we have only one uh, order in that array right so and we will increment the value of i here we will check put right sum plus equals array of i and here we will check if array of i is greater than array of i plus 1 it means that we have to write break i plus 1 it means that we find this one this situation right whenever array of i is greater than right array of i plus 1 it means that here we need to break the loop and we will find that index of right second part of that element so we will make j equals in this case we will make j equals i and we will break the loop right so here we have right someone because uh, we have created someone and some two two variable and after that we will start another loop right for i sorry we have a start put it uh, we have assigned the value into j so we don't need to initialize we will directly use j is less than array dot length because we need till last element sum of till last element right so we will increment value of j and we will put sum 2 plus equals array of j right after reaching that ending this loop we will get this two right sum in these two variables sum 1 and sum 2 next what we have to do we have to return you can see we have to return right multiply of these two so we will return sum 1 and sum 2 right so let's run this program so after running this program you can see that right here our output is 1175 and in question they also said that uh, in one explanation output is 1175 right so this is very easy program array and a string is most important part of programming right if you will you have uh, like uh, control on array and a string it means that you can solve a uh, problem too fast right and uh, main because if you think uh, all logics come through right array and a string if you are working with array and a string it means that you have full control on like loop and if conditions right so uh, as a suggestion i can say that uh, just practice on array and a string must then after go for uh, like uh, dynamic programming or competitive programming it's all about you thank you so much for being here